we go. Again. Balls up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Right. I can do this. <clears throat> Want some help? yourself tuffle <sighs> I'm thinking steward for you you can help frostfinger wash his cock if the thing isn't frozen off I'll be a ranger just you watch I'm not holding my breath brother Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're at. Man's ready will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Uh, oh. Not bad. Center between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Hmm. I cooked him a hole. <laughs> Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. <laughs> Super, full of your pet. Take that! Take that! Oh, 
Grab a practice sword. This one should do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. What the fuck? You're out of your mind. Hey. Yeah, Zoopy. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. And Garrett defended me. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. I hope you've got another one of those. 
I never took you for a lush mirror. Oh, sadly, it's just the one. Ob das so eine gute Idee ist, ich weiß ja nicht. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Ah. So, are you... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What's your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Hmm. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. There is something. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother, your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies, what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red. But a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. 
I will speak for House Forester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Und sie gönnen sich nur mal. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough. There's no need for... Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things, but sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. That's I'll really have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady.
noch in der Wüstenstadt am rumschleichen. Natürlich. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? You didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Richard. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas, young guy can on Josie, but I won't cost out it or Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Mira Forrester, Mira's quarters, King's Landing. Wofür ist dieser Schlüssel? Das 
da passiert? Everything's still here. Okay. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my book? Why would someone do this? Dann lesen wir mal, ne? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Mm. Should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is. If the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Uh, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. There's still limbs in our face. <laughs> Please. <coughs> so, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? <laughs> 